Hi, I'm Ed Clayton, Chief Executive Officer of Phelps Health. I want to take this time to provide updates on the COVID-19 situation and some of the most important and proactive measures we are implementing to protect our patients, our employees, and our visitors during this critical time. In mid-March, Phelps Health opened a drive through respiratory screening station to triage patients for the Phelps Health Emergency Department, which has been exceeding capacity of patients seeking treatment for respiratory type conditions. This new service allows patients to receive a medical screening and serves as an extension of our emergency department. Our teams working the station are helping to diagnose and treat patients right from their cars so they can go home and get better soon. Phelps Health also has placed visitor restrictions at all of its facilities, including the hospital, clinics, and all satellite locations to help to reduce the spread of the coronavirus disease throughout the community. The decision to restrict visitors was not easy and was made only after careful consideration. These restrictions, which follow the Center for Disease Control and Prevention Guidelines, were put into effect to help limit exposure to and the spread of respiratory diseases such as COVID-19. Many non-emergency procedures, services, and appointments at various Phelps Health locations have been postponed and will be rescheduled as soon as possible. We want to make sure everyone knows how we appreciate their understanding and cooperation during this time. Our environmental services and information technology departments, as well as other employees, are going above and beyond the call of duty to sanitize the hospital, help employees work remotely, and ensure patient safety by wearing personal protective equipment or PPE. It's inspiring to see employees from all different departments across Phelps Health come together to support the new and ongoing needs of the organization as COVID-19 continues to evolve. In an effort to remain proactive, we are currently accepting donations of new and unused PPE such as masks, eye protection, hand sanitizer, and stethoscopes. At this time, the request for donated PPE items is a precautionary measure only. Several people and businesses in the community have generously donated food and beverages to our staff working in the emergency department and the drive through respiratory screening station. I want to especially thank our friends at Missouri S&T and the Rolla Public School District who have gone out of their way to work with us as we prepare for future needs associated with the COVID-19 outbreak. Again, we cannot express how grateful we are for the people and institutions in our community. As a community, we continue to follow the guidelines set out by the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services and CDC to ensure the health of our loved ones, friends, and neighbors. New data shows that people between the ages of 20 and 49 are most frequently affected by COVID-19. I would encourage everyone to continue to practice social distancing and stay at home if possible. Every day, preventive actions can help protect you against COVID-19 and prevent the spread of germs to others. Preventive actions include washing your hands often, staying home when you are sick, disinfecting frequently touched objects and surfaces, avoiding touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, covering your cough or sneeze, and avoiding close contact with people that you know are sick. I'm very proud of what Phelps Health means to the communities in which we serve in this time of need. Our care teams deserve enormous thanks for their continued commitment to ensuring those seeking our care receive unmatched compassion and quality of services. Thank you for supporting us as this situation progresses and changes. Together, we can make positive changes to promote the health and wellness of people in our region. Visit Phelps Health social media pages and website, phelpshealth.org, for the latest updates on COVID-19. Thank you.